begins again. Hi, I'm James Hollywood Machikari. Join me Monday through Friday for more Psycho Mayhem Morning Show on YouTube Live, Facebook, and all major podcasting platforms where we talk about all the major biker news going on in the scene. Rock on! And how you guys doing? Welcome to the show, baby. Uh, today's going to be a little bit different. Uh, usually I cover a lot of biker news on this channel, but I do want to address something that it happened with one of the YouTube creators. Now, one of the things, and he wasn't being paid by Harley Davidson, none of that, but he had to be one of the biggest ambassadors for Harley Davidson on YouTube. This guy, he bought a lot of bikes from them. He was supportive of his local dealership. He was crazy, man. He takes street bikes where a lot of people wouldn't. So he was an ambassador like no other for Harley Davidson. The reason why I do not take on sponsorships for this show is real simple. I will not have anybody dictate to me how I handle this show. I will not, not follow some brand's freaking philosophy. If they wanted to sponsor the show, put your product on fine, I'd have to try it, see how it goes. Million Dollar Brogan. I love this channel. Daniel Hayes is kick-ass. He rides because he has a mental health issue. But I have never seen a more cool YouTube channel that promotes the brand. Now, Harley Davidson got all politically correct. Didn't like he uh, drops the word fuck a lot politically correct where they were complaining and now he's afraid to show the dealerships uh, so they don't get repercussions and all that type of stuff but Harley Davidson is trying to dictate his content when has Harley Davidson ever gave a shit about what YouTube creators do and why the hell would they go after this guy when he is promoting them? He has millions of freaking views on his channel. Millions. He shows what their product can do. Like I say, he takes street bikes in situations we'd never do it at. You gotta go over to his show. Million Dollar Bogan. It is awesome. He wants to quit moto vlogging now, which I say don't do. Don't give the pricks the satisfaction. That is the problem in this country today. People are folding. Do not fold anymore. Screw their p political correctness. You're a biker. Screw them. Get the attitude. But to chase him off of the moto vlogs is ridiculous I beat on Harley Davidson all the time not only do I believe their products less superior to the other manufacturers out there but they lost their way they forgot who got them there it sure the hell wasn't their CEOs that got them there it wasn't the board of directors that got them there. No. In the early days, you decided to steal the outlaw biker image. You just freaking got rid of a dealer down in Tennessee because he was riding the Confederate flag up his pole. But God forbid you tell anybody that you were selling shirts with that Confederate flag for decades. Decades. And now you got a moto vlogger who is awesome. 
going to give up his uh, income, his promotion of your brand, which I'll never promote Harley Davidson. I don't care how many cheerleaders are out there. And if you can't see what the hell the company thinks about you, you're retarded. They don't care about you. They want a whole different customer base now. They're going for the 1970s uh, Honda angle. Only nice people wear, uh, ride Harleys. That's their game now. That's their game. They don't care about the ugly tattooed bikers that made up their you know, base all these years. And as far as uh, less superior products, well, you can see that in the sales, all right. Uh, I'm, you know what? I said uh, my fat boy would uh, be the last one I've ever owned, and I'm sticking to that one, man. Especially after hearing what happened to him. There's people talking about it all over YouTube right now. And they should. They should be sticking by him. Because the censorship, the political correctness, is killing everybody. Killing everybody. Not to go off on politics, but you had a major story break. And Facebook and Twitter are censoring it so people can't see it. Because they're covering for a lax candidate, if you will. But Harley-Davidson... My God, how the hell do you do some shit like that? The guy don't even want to show inside dealerships. He used to do that all the time. Because he don't want the dealerships to uh, face pushback from your company. Because you don't like it. I hope to God you see my show. I'll debate you in a heartbeat. Your product sucks. And your management... You got Al Bundy, the shoe salesman from Puma, running a company that's a motorcycle. It manufactures motorcycles, and you got a shoe salesman. And then you get a CFO from Tyson Foods. You deserve to go under. You deserve everything coming at you. Because the way you're running things is ridiculous. You are getting free advertisement, free, from half of these people on YouTube. You're getting thousands, I can argue up to tens of thousands of dollars worth of advertising for free. And you have the balls to go after somebody because they said fuck too much in their videos. Well... That's your base. That's the way we talk. That's how we made your company so damn good. And boy, have you freaking bent over the working man, made them take down their pants to their ankles, and fuck them. What do you guys think, man? Don't you think it's enough with Harley Davidson? Again, I know you cheerleaders. That's the only thing I'm going to ride. That's because that was boring your brain. That's as worse as freaking the blacks voting for the Democrats. It's been freaking just put in your brain. Don't want to try another model of motorcycle. Well, I feel sorry for you because there's a lot better out there. And I think I do got a chip on my shoulder. Because he uses riding his Harley Davidson as therapy. This guy's bought dozens of bikes from this dealership in Harley. Promoting them. And hasn't got paid one cent. If I was him, I'd sue their ass. And the reason I would say that, well, he can't. Yes, he can. <laughs> in my opinion, he can. He's been a brand ambassador. He's got him free advertisement and he bought dozens of their products. 
and they are now put in pressure because they don't like it, they got themselves involved in this. I believe a million dollars over in Australia, and we know how bad it gets over there for bikers. But how could you turn on a guy like this? Now, I can see you would have a problem with a guy like me. I already do, because you hate bikers. Even though you stats your product, you hate them. You can't stand the tattoo big beards or goatee bikers. You can't stand them. Because you're too busy going after the suit and tie. My suggestion is, why don't you just put out a commercial that Honda did? Only nice people ride Harleys. Have some balls. Do it. If that's the way you're going, do it. Don't hide. That's a punk move. Show the people what you're really about. Show them, okay, this is the customer base we want. We don't like you guys anymore. You, you know, you minions, you little minions down there don't have the money to pay for the price of what we want because you got to take out a second mortgage to buy our product, so we don't want to deal with you. We just don't want it. So let everybody know. Stop hiding who you are. YouTube creators have a bad enough time trying to make ends meet on the shows and uh, the creations that they're putting out. When they do these documentaries, these standalone videos, 20 minutes of video takes a day to edit. A day. And then if the platform don't like what you're saying, or your two uh, fringe, as they call it. They don't uh, allow you to collect on ad revenue, which uh, you get two or three dollars a video as it is, only a thousand views, so you don't make much on uh, YouTube. That's why you hear us say, hey, you know, could you help out with a couple bucks here and there? And then you get the fools that come back and say, well, you're begging for money. <laughs> you don't have a problem watching it, do you? You don't have a problem watching it for free, do you? So you expect the creators to put out the product and do it for their own charity towards you because you're a king. We got, we're there to pr please you. You shouldn't be asking for help. Well, here's my thing. For those that say that, why don't you put out some stuff? See how it feels to uh, work your ass off and make pennies on the dollar because half the time your videos are throttled down, not shown to people. Subscribers, even you know, even the subscribers ain't getting notifications. See how you feel putting all the work in, all the expenses. Now, Harley-Davidson didn't give million dollar a dime. Now, he takes them strips, them motovlogs. You think the gas is free? Do you think that the places he stays is free? Do you think the maintenance on his bike is free? No, it's not. But you get pissed off when creators say, hey, can you help out? But, again, you have no problem watching it for free, do you? And that's another thing with Harley giving him uh, headaches. They didn't pay him a dime for all those trips, all the motive logs promoting his pro their product. There's a lot of people pissed off, and justifiably so. His channel freaking rocks. See, I'm into, you know, people ask me what stuff I'm into. I'm mostly into, and then this goes towards YouTube, I'm mostly into the mechanic videos, like Maxwell, the motovlogs, 
or the travel stuff. I love them all. And I know, well, wait a second, you know, I'm a studio guy, I'm a radio guy, and yes, I'm doing some videos, you know, but I'm not getting fancy like them, because I know all the work that goes into it. I'm just a radio show host. So, I'm not going to put a day or two days up to a week editing a video to make it look real freaking nice. And then have somebody come down and say, well, we have to throttle your video down or we can't approve it because you said some stuff we don't like because we're all butthurt. You're not politically correct enough. I hate to say it for all the Harley cheerleaders, but Harley Davidson has went so politically correct it makes me puke. The hypocrisy is killing me. All them years of free advertising, and I'm not just talking about creators now. I'm talking about the freaking people that put Harley Davidson b <laughs> shields on. They're tattooing their damn company on their body. All the promotion that people do of them wearing their shirts all over. Harley Davidson is made. They should be on their knees giving you a good one with all the money they've saved on advertising because it was their com customers that made them. It's their customers that gave them the free advertisement and the promotion and the ideal that you had to ride a Harley Davidson. To be a biker. If you don't have a Harley Davidson, you ain't shit. Yeah, you got that, Harley. And you didn't get it from your brilliant marketing department. You know, the ones putting out all those gay ass commercials. <gasps> I'm sorry, I said gay. That's not politically correct. Sexual orientation now is not correct, according to the idiot Hawaii senator. So, I guess hard-working men and women aren't your base anymore. They're too rude. They're too cruel. They're not the segment of the population we want. Well, that was evident when your new CEO said, uh, well, we want to push harder on the CVO models. Yeah, for $30,000, you quacks. Who the hell wants to do that? But you know one thing that you did do it for us, uh, middle uh, all us bikers that are blue collars that can't afford all your new shit. Your customers, you're targeting, and this is one of your problems, Harley, are selling their bikes used with an only few thousand miles on it for next to nothing, and people are buying them up. That's why you're having the problems in the used bike market you got to compete against your own products to make new motorcycle sales and that's one of the strategies you're using is to try to keep new bikes off the showroom floor like you did in 94 because people are going to start going and buying more but the problem is 1994 was a lot different 2020 these people go buy them, ride them for a few thousand miles, get bored of them, and then turn around and sell them for half the price they're worth. So your strategy of keeping the models off the floor ain't going to work. And your strategy of going after a YouTube creator that was an ambassador for you, trying to get them politically correct, ain't going to work for you. You know how many minutes and how many hours of video that people are putting out on this. Everybody supports Million Dollar. Everybody. Anybody with a brain supports him. Because of his trials and tribulations and his love for writing. So your little stupid uh, crap that you tried to pull with them is backfiring big time. Real big. You are stupid at what you just pulled. And 
you know, you might not care that all this is going around on YouTube because you might have the opinion that, well, any bad press is good press. <laughs> not when it comes to this product. You do not want to be perceived as pushing aside somebody because the way they look, how much they make, or who you're after as a base customer. Because I guarantee that your CEO, Al Bundy, does not know the biker community. I don't think any of you idiots at the corporate office know the biker community. Things spread fast and people stick together. See, that was one thing that helped you. People backed you. They were loyal to you. Why? God knows. I don't know why. And I guess I'm guilty. You know, I've owned dozens of Harley Davidsons. But I was the smart one. I never went and bought new. I bought them at wholesale price, man. I never pay MSRP for a freaking new bike. And I sure the hell wouldn't pay a lot of money for Harleys. Used. Have you noticed anybody out there, and this is the proof that Harley Davidson is losing its allure, that they're not keeping their value anymore. They're going rock bottom now because there's so many on the market. So many people are pissed off at that company. It's not funny. Your big dreams about the Pan Am American? <laughs> You're going to fall flat on that just like you did the Livewire. Because the off-road community doesn't like your company. They don't like anybody associated with your company on their bikes. They're more interested in the freaking African Twin. Or a Suzuki or a Yamaha on the trails. Why? Because they believe you're overpriced and blown up. They think you're sticking your nose in the air to everybody. And I really didn't want this to sound like a huge bitch, se bitch session. But I believe it should. Somebody needs to say it. Million Dollar Rogan is right Harley Davidson has went too damn far you forgot who you were you forgot who you ma who made you and it's guys like him that made you Jesus Christ this guy has spent so much money at this dealership and now has to be afraid to show the inside so you guys don't pull him just like you did that dealership in Tennessee because you don't like who's promoting him and I'm talking to him the dealership because you don't like what one guy on YouTube's talking about mentioning the name of the dealership you have to get involved or is that like uh, you know you going after little grandmas making blankets with your logo on it you went after them. Oh, it's a business. They should go after them. You know what? You're schmucks then if you think that way. Harley Davidson owes this community. I would have to say millions of dollars worth. And again, why? Because it was built off our backs. You got hundreds of thousands of people walking around with a Harley Davidson tattoo right now for free. They got it for free. The company. Their logo's right on these people. Then you have creators doing moto vlogs promoting him. Free advertisement. So yeah. You owe us. We don't owe you. And to million dollar... I say, you know what? Add a different freaking uh, manufacturer to your show and show Harley Davidson the door. Don't let them dictate to you what content you're going to put out, but don't let them dictate it to where you give up. Because you have a hell of a show, man.
Your videos are awesome. You're funny. And I think you're doing a hell of a good job. And I don't even watch many channels on YouTube. But you're one that I'm subscribed to. Don't let the pricks get the satisfaction of driving you off thinking they won. No, if I were you, I'd upscale them on them, man. I'd go after them. That's what I'd do. I'd make sure everybody knows what the hell they're doing to you. Make sure people understand the type of company that they're supporting. And yeah, you're going to have some haters. God knows I get all of them. Especially after that video one I did uh, the segment before this one. Oh, the haters came out, the supporters, all that stuff. But that's another thing. Out of the all, all the issues of Biker News, I think this is the most important one. Creators, you need to start doing videos on this. I'll put the link to his video, what he had to say about that, in my description box. Take a click, go over there, check out his video, and then hopefully after you hear the video, you'll do the same thing. As I and other people are doing right now to back him up. You need to back him up. You know, I know us creators always are at button heads at each other, competing for peanuts, as I say. But something like this is we need to stick together. I hope our subscribers will. Go support them. Shit. I hope people start emailing these pricks in Milwaukee. Letting them know what you did was out of bounds and enough's enough. Like me, I was looking uh, at a Pan American versus an African twin maybe next year. And you know what? Pan America's gone. It's African twin for me, baby. It's Suzuki, Triumph, BMW for me from now on. And regardless what the cheerleaders say, I can give a fuck what they have to say. Because Harley Davidson isn't the only bike. And I don't want to hear the crap about the USA, USA. The money goes back to the USA. Yeah, why they're making, you know, taking parts from out of the country and claiming that it's <laughs> all American made. It ain't an American bike anymore. There's mostly Jap parts on that bike. There's always an excuse. Well, I hope there ain't no excuse anymore after hearing this and hopefully you'll know what I'm talking about by going over to his channel subscribing and tell him to keep up the good work don't let Harley Davidson get you down shove it in their face it's their loss don't take down the videos though because I really enjoy those videos but know that you got the creators backing and you got a lot of subscribers backing, man. I'm seeing channels pop up all over the place that have hardly any subscribers because of what you did. You're the inspiration for these guys to get out there and start a channel. Which is awesome because we need more biker content. So you should be happy about that. So don't let them at Harley Davidson take it away from you. Don't let it happen. What do you guys think, man? Think Harley's lost its way? You think they're coming too politically correct? Or are you a Harley cheerleader? Let me know why. You know, just don't go on my comments and say, Well, I'll never ride anything other than a Harley. Okay. Why? Tell me why. Give me an actual argument. Say, you know, my bike's this uh, against the uh, Suzuki or this and that, the specs. You know, get some technicality in there, man. You're a biker. You're supposed to be able to talk tech. Prove to me why their bike is superior. 
Prove to me why that's the only bike you'll ever ride. Anyway, go over there and take a look, guys. I appreciate you letting me rant a little bit. Uh, back to some biker news on Monday. Don't forget to uh, visit Hollywood and China Dial Show, man. That last live we did. Oh, my God. That was funnier than hell, man. Sheep and Chewbacca's freaking uh, retarded daughter came up in the segment. You know, some freaks over there. I'll talk to you guys later. Hi, this is China Dial from Hollywood and China Dial Evening Show. Join us Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and YouTube for some fun times and very interesting entertainment. See you there. There, boys.